How do you maintain contact information so that you have the information ready when you need it? If you use a contact management system, it's only as good as the information you put into it. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to build a powerful contact system in Evernote. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. I post regular videos on how to use Evernote right here on YouTube. They're not sponsored, so I'm free to tell you the straight story, but do me a favor and hit the like button and the subscribe button below. Years ago, I put all of my contacts into Outlook, yet I spent most of my time with Evernote open on my computer monitor. Plus, one particular problem I had was when I was meeting uh, with someone or at a conference, people would give me their business cards and I'd put them in my shirt pocket or in my briefcase and promise myself that I would input the information into my Outlook database. Sometimes I did, sometimes I'd lose the card. Evernote Premium now allows you to take a picture of a business card and it instantly categorizes the person's name, the person's title, company, phone number, email address, all the information that is on that business card. It creates both an image of the card and an editable contact entry. I point out that this feature not only requires a premium subscription, but it works best on phones with a flash and a high photo resolution. So I'm gonna show you how this works uh, using my iPad. Uh, I have an iPad. I have a business card and uh, I have a dark background. That's pretty much all you need. So what you see, what you see here, of course, is my uh, is my Evernote screen. Uh, you'll notice that in the bottom uh, it says insert. So we're going to do insert, and then it gives me a number of options, including camera. Now, at this point, it says Evernote would like to access our photos. And we're going to say yes, because this is actually a new iPad, boys and girls. And so it's still, uh, it's still setting all of the, the features up. So now I've got my business card and I am placing it over the screen. And as you can see, now it is looking for the business card. It has found it. Now you can see it has, in fact, brought up all of the information that it's scanned from the business card. You notice that uh, it is wants to save it as a business card, but I could also have it save uh, as a number of other things, including a photo, a document, either in color or black and white, or even a post-it note. But we're going to say save it as a business card. I hit the Save button. And the business card has been saved to a new note. Now, it's a, a really good idea to review the information that's scanned, uh, scanned from the cards for accuracy. If some of the information needs to be edited, uh, all you do is you tap on the uh, gray contact header and tap the pencil icon. Tap a field to edit the information and save it. Because everyone's card looks different, you might need to do a little bit of editing. When taking the photo, you want to put the card on a contrasting background. Place light cards on dark backgrounds and dark cards on light backgrounds. I typically use a black background. If you're trying to scan glossy cards, tilt the phone at an angle to avoid glare from the flash. Once you scan the card and make whatever changes you need, you save it. Now, here's something else that I do. Once that card has been scanned into Evernote, that becomes my contact file. But let's say, for example, that I learn that the person's admin is the person who actually books my contact meeting. I might list that person's name and number underneath the card. That might include personal information about the person themselves, maybe their birthday, their spouses and kids' names. If I find that information out, I'll make a note of it. It helps me remember the little things that helps build relationships. Even my dentist probably wonders how I remember the names of his kids when I see him. It's because he mentioned his kids' names once. After our appointment, I just wrote them into my little Evernote contact sheet, and that information is stored forever. So basically, when I need to reach someone, if I need to get a phone number or an address, I go into Evernote. I search the person's name and that file pops up. 
information is so very powerful. By the way, I'm starting to work on an online course on how to use Evernote. If you've got suggestions, I'd love to hear from you. Go to my contact page on my website, daveedwardsmedia.com. I'd appreciate any advice or suggestions you have for me. Back with more Evernote tips and tricks soon. I'm Dave Edwards.